Greetings everyone. Mark, Mike, and Gary are back for some more floor joists today. And uh, I guess set this up on time lapse because they're just about to finish off the last run of floor joists. Here I am running the spacer blocks over to Mike and Gary. The measurements were all pre-measured out and written on the floor joists. So most of them were around 13 and a half inches. Some were a little, you know, slightly less, some were slightly more. So when I yell out 7 16 Mark knows to make that Mas spacer block 13 and 7 16 of an inch wide. After walking back and forth several times, Mike happened to mention, at least you can tell everyone that you walked several miles and never left your house. I thought that was pretty funny.
as you saw in the video, it was a really good day. Uh, all the trusses, or I'm sorry, all of the floor joists made it in. The guys helped me get all this blocked um, all the way down. We came up short, we ran out of time at the end of the day. So I got a little bit of blocking over to there to do because um, these blocks basically go right over the, the girders. Uh, this row got finished all the way out to the end. So tomorrow they're going to finish the blocks. They got a couple of sills to fabricate up for the shear wall that I have going around the um, those columns for the portico tray. And then they're just going to go around and just make sure everything's fine-tuned for the inspection and I'll get started on the plumbing underneath and finishing. Uh, you know, we're going to have to clean up underneath the crawl space and get all the vapor barrier in once the plumbing is done. So big thanks to Gary, Mark and Mike. Um, really sped this part along for me and because uh, the goal is really to get waterproof by winter and if I use their help on some of the bigger jobs uh, we'll be able to do that so thank you all for watching and we'll see you on the next one